Crime scene tape blocked off this shopping plaza into the morning as investigators tried to put the pieces together as to how a man was killed by his own car. I, I saw the guy about to come in the store. Eric Shalimbe saw the security footage from the 7-Eleven where he works. He was just about to get, come in and then he turned around and he ran. He ran towards his car. Investigators say the man pulled up to this 7-Eleven in Lawndale around 8.30 Saturday night. He got out but left his car running and a thief jumped inside. The guy seemed like he just took a car easily. Yeah. He didn't break in or something. L.A. County deputies say the man ran back to his vehicle and either jumped on it or tried to get in it, but ended up being dragged by his own car about 200 yards. They said he, he, fall, he fell on the street and he hit his head. He was eventually thrown off and rushed to the hospital, but he did not survive. It's really tragic because, you know, you should never sacrifice your life for a uh, materialistic because we can regain materialistic, but life you can't, you know, so... It's really unfortunate and real sad. When the thief took off down Redondo Beach Boulevard, he ended up slamming into several parked cars that were along the roadway before taking off. The side view mirror got knocked off. One of the damaged cars belongs to Caleb Benavente's brother. I came out right now and I checked and there was like a report thing on it, so I grabbed it for him. L.A. County deputies are looking for witnesses, the stolen car, and of course, the thief. I hope it does get caught, yeah, because... Otherwise, you'll be still doing it to more, to, to more people out there. A reminder for this community that crime happens everywhere. So these customers say they'll plan on locking their doors and sending their prayers to the family of the man killed. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.